Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to take a look at some random quotes, random, random topic, random reading, random quotes. By the way guys, I'm just looking down at the screen and I'm realizing that this all looks very different. I normally record these in the daytime and what I thought I would do today is it's nighttime and I just finished recording I think the Mercury retrograde video and yeah I thought I would do this tonight because it will just fit my week a bit better so it's nighttime and I've got lamps on I've got two two lamps on and we've got some shadows being cast here it all looks a little bit different but I hope the energy of the nighttime is okay this the, one of the reasons I'm doing this now in this way is because I checked the weather report and we have got rain every day until next week so I'm not going to have much sunlight anyway which is a real shame because I quite like doing this in the place where I do it where there's a lot of sunlight so I'm here in my makeshift office at my desk doing a pick a card and it's quite late at night I think it's like 9 30 or so I've been up since 5 30 I've had a really long day anyway I still have energy which is pretty amazing I think it's Saturn in Aquarius is, is doing wonders for me so I'm just going with it guys feel free to choose from group one group two or group three basically we're just doing a random reading we got random quotes no topic let's see what comes uh, you know we've got night energy here who knows we might have some new inspiration at this time so feel free to choose from group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading all right group one welcome group one let's see let's start shuffling with these straight away I've got a couple of other decks here as well so but we'll just see what comes through these first draw some oracle cards as well I hope you're weak is fine wherever you are hope things are you know ticking along <laughs> ticking along and I hope you're getting some time to unwind with a reading like this I know I certainly unwind with pick a cards it's just nice to relax and see what messages come through see what cards come through this is also a good way of working out your own intuition know that you can always Oh, that is casting quite a shadow. Let's put that there. I know that you can always um, pause the video and see what comes up for you, if you like, as well. You can kind of all jump ahead and just kind of look at the cards yourself first without any of my, my interpretation to see what you come to on your own. That could be quite... A fun task but we'll see what we've got in here I'll take these I'll take one of the Vedic astrology deck we might take two of these actually or I'll get an additional one from here if we need it let's just see what comes we'll take that one there we go all right let's see let's see what's going on so we'll start with the tarot cards and find out what's what's happening in your world all right we've got the seven of swords so we've got deceit here this is well this is a classical meaning of this card but it doesn't always have to be coming from the outside this could be you could be deceiving yourself you know that that is a possibility as well maybe you're more powerful than you think you know there are lots of ways of reading this card so the traditional way of someone's pulling the wool over your eyes type thing that, that may not be the case we'll see what else is going on though we'll see what else is going on okay ten of swords yeah so <clears throat> this is um all right we've, we've got more to the story let's see what else we have going on here we've got the six of swords moving on yeah beautiful a lot of swords energy that is that that that's quite a trio right there so thought energy even ego you might have been dealing with situations where there are some big egos present 
You're clearly being asked to move on. This is the Six of Swords moving on. Leave the situation behind. Might well be that there are people around you or someone around you or somebody here doesn't have their have your best interest at heart. That That is for sure. Let's keep going here and, and we'll draw clarifiers if we need to as well. Nurture yourself. Yeah, good advice. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel. This is great. This is the Archangel Gabriel deck, isn't it? Let me just check. Hold on, where is it? Oh, I don't have the... Yes, it is. Gabriel. <laughs> Nurture yourself. Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. Okay, yeah. You've been going through something quite tough. That's, that's pretty obvious. Let's see what the Kipper deck has to say. All right, sudden wealth. So I am seeing... Uh, so far things are... I think there's something happening at work for you is what I'm seeing. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, Mercury in the fifth house. Highly intelligent, creative and romantic. Enjoys ancient texts, philosophies. Loves chatting with partner, children. Logical, political is self-made. Yes, this is a strong placement for Mercury. This could be to do with... I'm getting something around colleagues, people at work. It kind of feels like something's gone down at work. And unfortunately, you've mm, had to bear the brunt of it, right? Or, or there's been some conflict or something, something has happened here. Or someone's, yeah... I just had the phrase, someone's trying to take you down, something along those lines, I'm not sure. Let's get a couple of clarifiers and see what else we can find out. And take one of these and we'll take one more tarot, see if we can get some more information. And work through what it is that we see. Okay, six of pentacles, I'm liking that. There's some like stability coming in here, some nice stable energy coming in here for you and some justice, okay? Six of Pentacles is a good card. This is a really good card and something's gonna be corrected for you in your favor. Oh wow, Mercury in the fourth. Gosh, well that couldn't be more. That is incredible. It's like one step after the other. Mercury in the fourth loves music, fine arts, is very witty, commands respect, father is self-made, travels frequently, excels in education, mother influences career, solves conflicts. Solves conflicts, yeah. It's like these cards have come in to say everything's going to be fine. But I feel like you have gone through some kind of situation. I'm taking this sudden wealth card to be at work. Or maybe you're going through some kind of situation where you're having to deal with shared assets or shared resources or something along those lines. Someone hasn't been honest with you. We can see that here with this Deceit card. Someone hasn't been honest with you. This has been very painful for you. But we've got here the f like you are moving on, which is great. So I'm, I'm seeing this as being the situation. You're moving on. Yeah. Nurture yourself. You're moving on and really there's going to be some justice that comes in for you for sure. Solves conflicts. This conflict is going to be solved. Is there anything you need to do? Let's see. So we have some guidance here that you need to move away. But like not in a running away sort of sense. Not in a like 
Okay, yeah, I'm kind of getting like, let, let them be. Let them be with their energy. You be with your good energy, <laughs> okay? So let them, so it's not like a resistance or you're running away or, no, it's not that. It's that you're letting them be with their emotions. You're moving back into your center to be with your good vibes, right? That are within you. You're kind of... That's a yeah, a sort of subtle distinction of you know you're not running away or abandoning or you know um, you're moving into your center. You're nurturing yourself. You're able to be that lighthouse. You know I've got a lighthouse on my website, and I really love that image. And I think about that quite a bit. And I often think about how yeah, I just want to be a lighthouse. There can be waves crashing around me, but I want to be a lighthouse type person. See, and that doesn't involve going away anywhere. But, you know, it involves kind of standing strong, let the waves crash, you know. Uh, let's ask the question. So what, what, what do you need to be doing at this time in this situation? Let's see what this is. Ten of Wands. Okay. Get a little bit more here. Yes, it is, it is a burden. It's a hard spot where you are. It's difficult. This is a really difficult situation. This one's popping out quite a bit. All right, four of pentacles. Holding on. You might be holding on. There is a kind of a let go type message here. Something you need to let go. Are we right to say that there's something you need to let go? It's letting go the right action. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to let go. Look at that, the Ace of Pentacles. That's beautiful. Wow. That's really stunning. So you do, yeah, and this is all about letting go as well. Well, this is about kind of moving on, or as I said, moving back into your energy nurturing yourself recognizing the incredible person that you are you know recognizing your gifts also trusting yourself i want to do a reading that's all about self-trust because when you trust yourself then all your gifts are going to open up right so trust yourself you're amazing look at this 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 is what you're all about you're all these incredible qualities okay so you just need to nurture yourself at this time, look after yourself. This has been, there's a recognition here of the fact that what you have been going through is a massive burden. It's been really difficult. It's been like a big heavy weight on your shoulders. You've been going through something really quite tough. And I think there has been some holding on energy. Okay, you have been holding on. That, that is here. But what's going to help you is letting go. The, the solution is really letting go. Look at that. You've got the Ace of Pentacles come in. And I mean, that could be sudden wealth as well. It's like by you letting go, releasing, going with the flow, going with what is. The justice is going to come in. The conflict is going to be solved things are going to be fine. So we can see that. Letting go isn't easy. Letting go really isn't easy. I do find that meditation helps. Sometimes I just meditate because in that meditative space, you're not, you're not engaging really with anything. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> you know, the mind will have thoughts and they come and go like clouds, but yeah. Letting go is definitely your solution. Let's see what random quotes come for you. There will be some good guidance in here, I'm sure. Okay, this says, my therapist told me yesterday, some people, especially family, will choose to remember and recognize only the version of you that they held the most power over, no matter how long it's been or how much you've changed. 
at yes I Candice yeah I got this from Instagram absolutely this is a really great quote and this is I think you have made a shift and that perhaps isn't being recognized if this is a family situation they're not seeing how much you've transformed you have moved on I'm actually now seeing this card as being a bit more indicative of what you have done you have moved on you have grown that's for sure I think it's your family maybe that's holding on this or co-workers work family the people around you there's somebody around you there's some ego issue as well but it's like someone is mm, holding on perhaps to an old version that you were but you're not that and that's what I this I kept getting that here with this these are all the things that you are you're this person you're highly intelligent creative romantic enjoys ancient texts philosophies you're all these things right but somebody is holding on to an old version they they're not connecting in with you as you are now who you are now who you are now is really incredible and letting go is going to help in this situation letting go doesn't necessarily mean you let go of the people in this situation and that you never see them again that's not it because often our soulmates our family our tribe our people they're there <laughs> you know we you, you can't sort of uh just 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 drop them like a hot potato no they're, they're in there <laughs> they're not going anywhere let's have a look let's see what we've got in here the lighting is interesting here today isn't it i'm kind of liking it I might be able to do these more often oh how beautiful no does it want to focus no here we go never lose hope my heart miracles dwell in the invisible Rumi. yeah this is why he's my favorite poet i mean he's just amazing miracles do dwell in the invisible if you're feeling that you're in some kind of situation that is hopeless and you might be i mean look we did draw the ten of swords here and this was something i was learning about yesterday and if there is burden and heavy energy and pain sometimes we can't justify it or the time is going to evaporate um it doesn't matter i'll start i'll start a fresh thingy if it if it drops out <clears throat> sometimes when there's pain we just we just have to allow the pain you know sometimes there's no justifying it sometimes there's no story for it allow it to be give it space in your life and treat the pain with warmth your own warmth and kindness oh it's not gonna do you know why it's it's 16 minutes and it's not gonna blank out because this i'm not filming on high res good excellent oh because i'm thinking it's gone past the, the point where it normally goes um good yeah no g give your pain some space give your if you're experiencing pain don't feel the need to justify it or put a story on it or have a reason for it allow the pain it, and it'll release it'll 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 move through you know and that can be what the holding on is sometimes it's like sometimes we're holding on because we're justifying or we're needing reasons or we're needing and that's mind stuff you know there we go yeah that's that's really mind stuff that kind of holding on type thing no just experience what it is if there's pain if there's anything on your behalf that you're feeling and of course look if somebody's trying to put their you know rubbish in your garden kind of thing right don't allow that don't allow that you put your boundaries up that's not okay and you do have to nurture yourself 
Let's just take one more and then we'll close out the reading. Oh, you're getting a long one today, group one. Shh, don't tell the other groups. Uh, I'll, I'll set the um, thing back to back to the 50 frames per second. We're on, I think we're on 25 for this. Let's have a look here. Going on. Wait, come on. Come on. There we go. The lamps are different, but the light is the same. Yeah, again, Rumi. Wow, you've got my favorite poet here. Yeah, I, I tell you, the, the lamps are different, but the light is the same. That's a lovely way to end. That's, you know, don't worry about all the external stuff that's going on. The light is the same within all of us. In time, you'll even be able to see those who are seemingly against you. You'll even be able to see the light coming through them. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Today is just a random reading. Okay, we'll take it. King of Pentacles wants to be here. Hello, King of Pentacles. Welcome. Uh, yeah, today's just a random reading, guys. Let's just see what happens. I just did group number one and they got a bit of a long reading because normally the frame rate is set to 50 frames per second for these, but I forgot to switch it and so they got a nice long reading so if you would like a nice long reading whoops then you're welcome to head on over to group number one mind you let's see what's coming for you you're off to a good start <laughs> this is looking quite good so let's see what comes i hope you're having a good week wherever you are We've got the archangel gabriel deck See what guidance comes through here also those of you who missed the introduction i am recording this at night time which is why the lighting is very different and the lighting is different because so i love to record these in the sunlight natural sunlight but unfortunately we're not going to have natural sunlight for i think until next week so i thought i'll oh, just record this here so maybe sometimes now and then I might do this in the evening <clears throat> and I think this should edit quite well as well we'll see how it looks tomorrow when I when I put it together okay this is the kipper deck oh there we go all right let's see what comes why don't we do these all out of order let's see what this was because this really jumped out oh main female okay Wow. King of Pentacles. Nice. King of Pentacles, main female. Okay, we've got a story developing already. Oh, wow. We've got the King of Cups as well. This is good energy. Nice. Okay. Perhaps there's a loving man in your world, you know? A loving and a stable man in your world. The Empress. Wow. Okay, great energy. <clears throat> Retreat, to block out distractions, spend quiet time alone so that you can focus on your priorities. Okay, what's here next to the main female? Venus in the eighth house, wow. Is wealthy, lives a life of comfort, early disappointments in love, secret love affairs, discontinuity in relationships, family support. Interesting. I'm kind of, this, to me, this does feel a bit like a love type reading and I'm kind of getting, and it's interesting because I'm reading it as two separate lines. I'm reading this as the main male or the more masculine person in the relationship and I'm kind of reading this as one line and I'm seeing that he views you as the empress and then I'm looking at 
this line as being the female person in the relationship and I'm seeing that you see that the word discontinuity is kind of standing out for me here and retreat hmm all right let's check this out I'm not sure what is going on here let's see so for him let's see let's draw a card for this person up here just extra guidance and we'll draw one for you okay let's see eight of pentacles all right four of wands wow okay I still want more information because this is telling me that this person is very busy with their work you know I kind of with the with the female here I'm kind of getting that like you want more than this person might be able to give at this stage is one of the things that I'm seeing and because of that because you want more and, and he's not able to um, give that or he's slow or he's consumed with his work like yeah you want more you, you can't that's not happening here you're having to retreat you're having to kind of um, see if you want to keep doing this let's see let's see we'll use the Vedic astrology deck see what this could be interesting <laughs> this could be very interesting let's see what comes here okay let's let's ask for the top person so we've clearly got like a masculine here and we've clearly got a feminine here so let's ask for him and then we'll ask for one for you all right Mars in the third let's take it and that's for you okay competitive with peers siblings father it says selfish controlling courageous if afflicted not good for siblings accident prone while traveling okay this is actually a strong placement for Mars especially by transit so I'm liking that Let's see for him wow Venus in the fifth this is so cool because like when I ask for you and I'm quite convinced that we're dealing with a female here we've got a masculine energy when we're asking about him we get this feminine energy Venus in the fifth glitz and glamour enjoys fine things must follow passion or do work that is creative stock market entertainment marries for love Hmm. This is all very interesting. What is it that we are meant to learn? What is it that you are meant to learn? What is it that you're meant to learn from this situation or this person? What is it that you're meant to learn? Wow. It's like love, yeah. You're meant to learn love. Hmm. Okay, again, I want more. <laughs> Is she meant to learn love from him? It's getting quite specific now. <laughs> yes let's take it wow the world this is really interesting I'm getting a feeling that it's so interesting that two people have come up here for a start and I'm getting a sort of sense that you need what you can learn from this person 
and I'm yeah sensing whether you're in relationship with this person or not it is it is to do with love I think you're afraid hmm afraid of opening up or afraid of getting hurt am I right about that are you afraid of getting hurt Knight of Swords, and this person is running Four of Swords, rest. Yeah, I think so. I think you're quite possibly afraid of, of being hurt because we've got Mars here, the warrior, Mars in the third. So that's like, it's, it's combat with peers. It's kind of competitive with peers, siblings, father, yeah, but it's like you, your guard is up. And I think the immediate, and we'll take this from the bottom deck, and I think we've got enough cards. I think the immediate guidance is just to rest. Don't push anything, don't, uh, yeah, and I'm also getting, you don't need a label, you don't need to know what this is at this stage. Rest, this is a time for rest. But I get a lot of mm, positive vibes from this person up here. A lot of positive vibes. But I get I get a sense, you, yeah, you've got that up and down energy going on. Where you, and we had this last week in group three, where but it was up here that the person was having that. You've got that stop, start, up, down, whoa, like, yeah, this is going to be great. Oh my God, I don't know. You know, I really want to do this, but no, I don't want to do this because last time I got hurt, there's this kind of thing going on here. And that's okay. That's natural. And allow that and give space for it to be. Give it warmth. Give it kindness. And allow it to be. And that, that is one of the things I'm learning from yeah, some of the coaches I've been watching lately. They've been talking about how... You don't always need to justify things with a story. You don't always need to have a reason. You can allow things to be and give space for your pain. If you have any pain, just give it space. Allow it to be. Don't need to label it. Don't need to put words to it. Whoever this is, I feel like they view you in a really great light. And that's great. But I'm not feeling any tension here or like you need to do anything. Because this is all the feminine, you, this is the feminine energy here. And I, yeah, I kind of, I get the sense you need to trust yourself. You need to trust yourself. And I was saying this in a reading just this morning, I was saying that when you trust yourself, that's when all your gifts open up. That's when your intuition works and, you know, your creativity and your compassion and love and all these beautiful things. That's on, I think that's on the other side of self-trust. I do believe that. I heard that recently too. <laughs> I'm watching a lot of good stuff lately. <laughs> but too many things to list or share the links of. Don't plant your bad days. They grow into weeks. The weeks grow into months. Before you know it, you got yourself a bad year. Take it from me. Choke those new bad days. <laughs> Choke them down to nothing. <laughs> Tom Waits. I have to look up who this guy is. In the picture on Instagram, he had a guitar and he looked pretty cool. I'll check out who this person is. Yeah, I like this. And that that is that is exactly tapping into these this up and down thing that you, you are having some little down points you are kind of but that's okay everybody has it even the most together person who you think is really together they have it you know I was what there was yeah one of the coaches I was watching he was saying that you know and I liked this actually because he said he he was ne he's nervous to do videos and I'm like oh, 
me too and like his videos are so good and he never says um and he's like really flawless and amazing and I always think he's really amazing but then to hear him say I get nervous to do videos I was like oh so do I <laughs> like even though I've been doing so many or like whatever like I, I still get a bit oh god you know it's funny it's weird oh yeah like this this is venus in the eighth you've got venus in the eighth here doctors study medicine teachers study education healers study darkness yeah feel good i love that you've got that kind of thing here you've got and that's i would drag it out but it'll mess up the whole thing you've got yes this this gift and ability to i would say transmute your own darkness and also what i would say is that just 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 work on you don't feel the need to alchemize anyone else's stuff or to figure them out or no, let them be them and quite frankly this other person i i kind of i'm gathering that things are pretty good there well we've got a little bit of time let's just draw one more card see if there's any more information that wants to come through here no let's shuffle a bit more about this king of pentacles king of cups all oh, right what do we want to know what do we got here yeah the chariot i i mean there's good energy here that's i really do get that and this could be that they're well there's movement in their life there is movement in this person's life have another quote see if we've got another bit of wisdom that wants to come through as well but group two i'm i'm getting a sense that you're fine as long as you rest you need some rest that's really what you need more than anything and just time out just time out from the whole world that's going to be a good thing for you oh it's not focusing there we go i live in my house therefore i don't trash my house i live in my mind therefore i don't trash my mind dandapani yeah i like this i like this here but i don't think you do i don't think you trash your mind at all i think you're fine when it comes to to that could be this could be for someone around you But I think you're fine, but I think you are possibly going through a little bit of up and down at the moment. It's okay. A bit of rest will resolve that. Hopefully this weekend you'll be able to hopefully this weekend you'll be able to get some rest. Guys, I'm gonna to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you got on with this reading in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle and see what's happening for you. Now, some of you will notice that the lighting is all different. I am recording this at night after a long day. I thought, do you know what? I'll just record it now. That way I can spend a whole day editing tomorrow. And then, yeah, just the, the week works out better that way. <laughs> oh, it's been a busy week. I hope you're having or have had, I should say, a good week, wherever you are. Let's see what comes through in your reading. It's been quite interesting, this random reading this time. I never know what to expect, but yeah, it's every time, it's always never what I think it's gonna be. <laughs> I always think, oh, I bet these are the energies, and then no, nope. <laughs> ends up being very different. To whatever I guess. Okay, we'll have one keep a card. Oh, that one's sticking out. Let's take it. And then one of these. All right, Mercury wants to be here. Do you know it's Mercury retrograde? <laughs> and I've just done a Mercury video and I'm wearing green in honor of Mercury. So guess who turns up? A lot. <laughs> We've had Mercury in the fifth, Mercury in the fourth, Mercury in the third. 
these are all nice Mercuries, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, well, we're off to an interesting start. So let's let's have a read. Mercury in the third achieves excellence in communication, written and spoken, precision with hands, success in speculation, logic, popular if afflicted, nervous breakdown. Don't worry about that. You're not going to have one of those. It's not afflicted. There are no other planets here. <laughs> we're all good. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Mm, queen of Discs, Queen of Pentacles. Nurture. Yeah. It's quite an Empress like Queen of Discs in this deck, isn't it? But I like it. She has great hair. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we have here? Princess of Discs. So we've got the Page of Discs, uh, Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Wow, we've got the Queen of Pentacles and we've got the. Um, Yes, page, page knight, yeah, page, page of pentacles here, manifestation, yes, this is all about manifestation, material things, wealth, your stuff, is that the queen of, yeah, queen of wands, vibrancy, wow, group three, it's beautiful energy, this is, feminine at her best you know this is the queen of wands she's super attractive she's on fire everyone likes her a lot and queen of discs queen of pentacles very stable lady great lady to marry you know i always think of queen of pentacles in that way she's a great business person so she's kind of the great business person stable good to marry all that kind of thing Page of Pentacles is showing that there's something new. There's something new financially for you on the horizon or that's coming in or new ideas about how to bring more money in or you're going to get a new start in finance. Something new when it comes to money for you, which is really good. I've got the Queen of Wands here. I mean, that's just creativity. She's super creative. Great energies. Wow. Oh, creative expression. Absolutely, yes. Yes, yes, yes. God's divine creativity is expressed through your actions. This is perfect. This and this go hand in hand, the Queen of Wands. She's super creative. This is great. And it looks like you can have the resources to be able to do your creativity as well. So that's great. So look what we've got here. Ooh, courtship. Wow, there's quite a lot of love type stuff happening in these readings how interesting okay so maybe someone that has their eye on you something like this let's see mercury in the third okay so this is social this is nice we can need some more information what else is going on for group three what else is going on for group three i'm loving this spread so far it feels very empowered. It feels very like, you know, you're making things happen. Seven of discs, yeah, perseverance, more, wow, more earth energy. So you're assessing, you're assessing your creativity, you're assessing, you know, how you're doing with your finances, with your work, you're assessing things. Any more guidance? Let's take another one. We've got a lot of pentacles up here. Take one more. And then we'll see what else we want to we take any more after that. The energies are really good here. Oh, all right. Let's, why don't we take them all? Let's be greedy. Let's take them all. These came out together. So we've got death. We've got, oh, Eight of Cups Retreat, Two of Swords Decisions, wow. Interesting. Plot thickens, hey? <laughs> Let's see, Death. Eight of Cups, something you're gonna walk away from. Two of Swords, and it, you're going to be, well, that's definitely thought energy. 
you're gonna there's something that you're gonna have to rethink but I'm not seeing this as being a big bad thing I'm kind of seeing this as so I th is this something to do with work I want to see what's going on here with the courtship. I, let's just park those there for now. I think that could be work stuff. Let's let's ask about this. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> so what's what's going on with the courtship here? Prince of Discs. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like there's someone that you're interested in or he's interested in you, but he's really taking his time. And that's okay. Let's get a clarifier about this guy. <laughs> What's he all about? <laughs> See, when there's no topic, we end up spying on people. <laughs> I'm kidding. One of you had said in the, I think last week's reading, I, I, I haven't checked the comments yet, but I'm pretty sure someone, one of you wrote about that. But no, don't worry, it's not spying. I know. Uh, five of Cups, all right. Yeah, there's somebody, all right. I don't, it's, I don't like, he's heartbroken. Um, all right, let's see. I want to get a little bit more information about this person. If it's a he or a she, right? You can change it for your situation. What else can we... Mm, let's see, what, what do we want to ask about this? I kind of want to ask, like, is he going to... Is he going to find the courage to approach you? How about we ask that? That'd be nice. Is he going to find the courage to approach you? There are two cards here. Wow, three. Far out, man. Three of swords. What else have we got? What's this? Oh, the hermit. Wowza. Okay. Well, I mean, if this isn't your reading, <laughs> please don't take it. Because, yeah, I, I, I'm getting that this, there, there's somebody really in a state of heartbreak here. We've got the Five of Cups, disappointment, look at that. There's somebody, I feel like they're interested in you, but they are, they're not in great shape kind of thing. They're Five of Cups, disappointment. Right, this, they're upset over the two cups that have spilt. They're not seeing that there are three cups that are standing. Heartbreak, right? The Three of Swords, sorrow. And we've got the Hermit. I want to confirm that this is definitely about work for you. Something's ending at work because I did get a work vibe. I didn't get that this was related to any of this. Let's see, let's ask about this situation. Is that, is that a work thing? Got swords here, eight of swords, isolation. Hmm. I don't feel like this is related to this person. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Let's have a look. What is the Eight of Swords doing here? Nine of Wands, Resilience, Ten of Swords, Despair. I kind of get the sense that on the surface, I think a lot of your life is going really well and it looks like it's all going amazing. But there might be some deeper hidden things that I would say are being resolved, kind of. 
Mm. Yeah, let's just put that there. I want to ask one more about this person. Mm. I want some guidance about this. Uh, yeah. Oh wow, Princess of Cups dreams, yeah. You're in this person's dreams. And I feel like they haven't let you go. Hmm. This is interesting. How do you feel about this person? Because <laughs> I'm pretty confident that that's some unrelated work thing and I think there's some other stuff that you're healing that could even be to do with family. How do you feel about this person? Wow. Yeah, I, th I think you like this person. King of Pentacles power, but see, he's a slow mover. He's a slow mover, whoever this is. He's not, he's not making any quick moves. And it's going to take time. But I think you see this person in a good light. And I could imagine that if they knew that, that, that would transform some of this energy that they're in. These three cards, which are kind of heartbreak and yeah, the hermit, they're on their own, they're, you know, it's, it's not good in their world right now, but I think if they knew how you felt about them, I think all this armor would come off and they'd be able to come to you. There'd be a bit more, you know, Mercury's a fast energy. Mercury in the third, this is social, this is, they'll come to you. They're not going to, they're not going to hold back. Wow. Very interesting, group number three. It, it feels like a massive to be continued, like, yeah, I kind of feel like we could draw a lot of cards, but it's, there's a, there's a slowness about this situation that I, I, I it kind of feels like some big transits need to happen first before it's the kind of thing that it kind of feels like it's a few months away that you'd be able to meet or it's like that that amount of time it's it's month it's not it's, you're not that that's what i'm getting i'm getting that like we're talking months not not weeks or days you know not years though <laughs> because we're gonna have we're gonna have a massive transition jan feb next year you know Oh, let's take all of these. Good. All right. Well, I've got 15 minutes. I better hurry up. <laughs> in individuals, insanity is rare, but in groups, parties, nations, and epochs, it is the rule. Okay, Friedrich Nietzsche, thank you. That's not hugely helpful in this instance. <laughs> but it, do you know it is actually? Because... Be this is helpful because, yeah, I, I agree, insanity is rare. It's like um, sometimes we worry about, you know, oh, I'm going to attract someone that's like my mother or father or this or that. Or, but, you know, in individuals, insanity is rare. We're getting a message there. We're being told that like each of you need to know that the other's okay kind of thing any fears yeah and I, this does apply in here in this in this pile of cards it feels like it applies 
that you know, in individuals insanity is rare it, that that feels like this message is for you in regards to it's either a work situation or a family situation this thing let's see what this quote is nature gives us everything for free nature doesn't charge us any money all nature asks of us is that we protect it yeah protecting you you protecting you this person protecting himself that'll be good at this time kind of feels like that's more what needs to happen rather than anybody making any moves towards each other type thing i don't know that's what i'm seeing okay and let's see what we've got here The higher we saw, the smaller we appear to those who cannot fly. Friedrich Nietzsche, okay. The higher we saw, the smaller we appear to those who cannot fly. This person might perceive that you're flying away, like you're, you know, you're being really creative, you seem to be enjoying yourself, creative expression, you're doing your thing. You're working and this person might feel that you're flying away you're out of reach somehow but that's an illusion mm. and it feels to me like there's a chasm or something it feels to me like you it's not like you can communicate to that to them it's not like you can pick up a phone and go uh excuse me but you know <laughs> whatever you're going through at the moment i'm sorry but it's an illusion <laughs> like i'm right here it feels like you can't do that but you could you know <laughs> like that's the thing you could but then you also can't that's why the, all these no contact things i just I, I don't know maybe i'm too practical i'm too much of a realist or, I just don't get it. I just don't see why people don't, you know, just communicate or whatever. But then, but you can't, and there's like time and there's healing, and I know. And that's where astrology, thank God for astrology. We know when the big pivot points are happening, we know when the big transformations in energy are happening. We know that we're currently getting a 2.5 month taste of the big shift that's going to happen next year in January. Okay, that's the big shift. That's when people are going to move about, the things are going to change, you know. And as I was saying, I, I was chatting with my mum today, you know, I'm probably going to, I mean, yeah, I kind of feel like after January, I'm going to be, you know, getting on a plane. Let's uh, hope, fingers crossed. It's not far away now. Yeah, well, group number three, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I, I would really love to hear if this has resonated, if this has matched up with your life situation. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.